the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we're back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we've been gone the last three days. I was out of town uh, in San Antonio um, doing some interviews. Check out those interviews on my Facebook page. I will have up on YouTube shortly. Uh, but next, let me get into this. Um, well, first, like and subscribe, share on all of our social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, uh, just 8, 10 minutes real quick hits just to keep you up to date up on all the latest boxing uh, news and rumors. Uh, today's show is going to be all about Tia Fima Lopez and George Cambosis, the purse bids. Um, a ton of money went out from a surprising party, uh, and it's not top rank. Uh, stay tuned. We'll get into that. Um, so... Let's jump right into it. Um, obviously, both fighters are promoted uh, are top ranked fighters, um, and there were three major bids we're going to get into. Uh, top rank had the uh, lightest bid of two point three one five million. Um, Matchroom Eddie Hearn came in, which I predicted Eddie Hearn would steal it, and he came in with a real big bid, three point five million dollars. But it was. <laughs> Grossly outdone by Triller. Triller wins the bid at six point zero one eight million dollars. So that's uh, six hundred six million and eighteen thousand um, dollars, of which two thirds Tiafimo gets and one third Cambosis gets. So roughly four million and two million. Not a bad payday. Not a bad payday at all. So if you guys don't know, Triller is that uh, movie. App thing, maybe one of the millennials. I'm a exennial. Can I better explain it to you that you order the Tyson uh, Roy Jones fight on. So this is going to be pay per view. I would imagine. I don't know how else you would get it, especially at that price point. Six million dollars is insane. I don't know how they make money on this, but we will see. They're going to promote the heck out of it. I don't know what their plan is, uh, but I can't do that making money on this $6 million purse. T.F.E. Lopez and George Cambosis just aren't those type of stars. Uh, but we, we will see how it goes. Um, we will see how it goes. Um, again, this is by far the biggest payday of either of your fighters' career. And when I picked uh, Eddie Hearn to come in and steal this, I, I was thinking he would come in between 3 and $4 million. He came in exactly between three and four million dollars, and I thought that would be enough to win it. <laughs> and in a normal bid, it would be. Except Trill really, really wanted this. So what does this mean? What does this mean for George Cambosis? I mean, what does it? I mean, it means George Cambosis is going to get destroyed and get, and get a big fat payday doing it. So good for him. But what does this mean for T.F.M. Lopez? Um, he can't. He's got to like that he's getting four uh, four million dollars. He's got to love that. But. He can't love that his own promoter, Top Rank, thinks so little of him. They came in at, at just over $2 million with his purse. He can't love that. That can't be awesome for him, right? Uh, does this damage the relationship? He, he's got a contract with, the, you know, where the, the, the fight purses range from $1.5 to $5 million. Um, They came in for the absolute lows, which, again, this is a mandatory Look, Cambosis is, he's beat Lee Selby. He's not the worst fighter in the world. He's not the worst mandatory in the world. Uh, but this is going to be largely one-way traffic, which he will destroy him. I, I don't think there's much debate on that, right? Um, Tiafimo will outbox him and then destroy him and get him out in, I say, less than six rounds. My official prediction will be four, five rounds. I, I don't see this going long. It's, again, Cambosis isn't terrible, but Tiafimo Lopez is that good. Um, does this create the, the fact that Top Rank came in so light on this bid? Does that damage the relationship with Cambo with TF not Cambosis? Does it damage the relationship with Tiafimo Lopez? Again, Tiafimo Lopez is 
what, 23 years old, is all-world talent, is should be their star, but they failed to make Crawford a star. Like, are they going to fail and make him a star too? And are they just not interested in building up Tiafimo? Because Eddie Hearn showed you that he is with, with a really big bid, right? Basically, his bid comes down to he offered Tiafimo Lopez, you know, 3.5, about – Two point three million, two to two, you know, two and a quarter million, and top rank offered at one point five is the difference, right? If you break it down, two thirds and one third, two thirds go to Tifimo, one third goes to Cambosis, right? With the top rank bid, he gets one point five with the uh, one point uh, five, and with the, this bid, he gets, um, you know, with Eddie's bid, he would have gotten, you know, two point three. Right, yeah, two point three. Uh, that's a sizable difference. That that's an eight hundred thousand dollar difference. That's huge. That's fifty percent more. And then obviously Trilla came in out of nowhere to steal this thing. So and then, and then he's getting four million on that. So he's getting three times, more than three times what his own promoter offered him. How does that not sting a little bit? How does that not make you look? They value me. Eddie values me. Why doesn't my own promoter value me? It really has got to make the kid think. Um. I thought Eddie's deal was going to get it done, Eddie, Eddie's bid, but, uh, you know, Troller came in and did the unexpected. As for the fight itself, like I said, this is largely one-way traffic. Tiafimo Lopez is better. He's a better boxer. Uh, he's got more power. He's quicker, stronger. He's a much better, much better hitter. Um, so, again, I'm going to say Cambosis, I mean, Tiafimo, I keep doing that. I'm going to say Tiafimo between four and five rounds would be my official prediction. I think this is largely one-way traffic. I think it's a fine stepping stone. It's a fight that... Tifimo has to get out of the way, so we're not calling him a duck or, or anything like that. Um, speaking of duck, we're going to be back today, and I'm going to break down Canelo Yields room and why this fight's happening and why it's not a duck and why everyone needs to calm down. So if you're interested in that, we're going to dro drop another quick hits tonight, um, and that'll be on Canelo and why he's fighting Yields room, and, and we'll get into that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Canelo, Yields room, uh, I mean, Tifimo Lopez, um, and Cambosis getting a $6 million purse bid means $4 million goes to Cambosis, $2 million goes to Yildrum, and Top Rank right, not really making a serious play for their own guy. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, it is February 25th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video, 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.